Hey, welcome to Soda Beers, Jack and Barbecue. I'm Craig, man behind the camera's Jack. Today we're doing a simple one, <clears throat> chicken thighs. So we got some Bell and Evans chicken here. Um, I finally got myself some um, Uncle Steve's Gator Shake. I have a few different ones to be trying along the way, but hit three with Gator Shake. This one Jack found, it's all shucks. This is a local thing. They actually put it on sweet corn around here in northeastern Pennsylvania, um, or eastern Pennsylvania, if you want to call it that. So that one he said is good on chicken, so we're gonna try it tonight. So I did three of that. And then after we get close to the end, I got some Frank's Thick Sauce, Red Hot. I'm gonna hit three uh, breasts or three thighs with that. So uh, hopefully I didn't say wings when I was doing the all shucks here. But uh, that's where the cook's gonna be tonight. So here's a quick cheap plug on, uh, we're an affiliate for s, &S Grills. Um, they just came out with shirts. Uh, Jack and I both ordered one. Um, so nice, comfortable shirt, glad I have it. Like I said, we're affiliated with about four different companies right now, different products. We've kind of picked and choose what we wanted to work with, and we have a lot of s, &S products, so we chose to, or asked them to be an affiliate, and they agreed, so that's what we're doing. So next, we're going to see on the grill to do these chicken thighs, and that's going to be on the s, &S kettle, so uh, we'll see you then. All right, let's throw these on. We're gonna do indirect the whole time. I got the grill running pretty hot. Um, it's gonna try to keep things separated here. I got Uncle Steve's seasoning over here on this part of the grill. And you can see we really didn't trim anything off. Um, we pretty much leave it as is. No competition here, we just want good food. And I got the plain ones down the middle here. All right, I am going to probe one just to kind of get an indicator um, to see where we're at. Um, I typically don't probe chicken, but it's just a guide to keep us paying attention to what we're doing here. So uh, we'll let these go to probably they get to about 100, and then I might flip them over at that point, between 100 and 110 or so. Um, but I want to get the skin kind of going and get it crispy, and then we'll flip it over once to get the bottom to get some heat roll over, and then we'll go back to the top and we'll finish them off. So. Uh, We'll see you next time we check them. All right, temperature's climbing pretty good, and we got the grill rocking a little over 400. But I'm just wondering if I don't have this in a good spot. So I'm going to move it around here right now a little bit. Just get another spot here. That's hitting bone there. Let's see if that's any better. But we'll come back. Like I said, it's looking good. We'll get that skin a little further before we turn it over. So uh, we'll be back shortly. All right, so it's showing like it's climbing pretty good. I did move the thermometer again, and it's just looking like we got some nice chicken going on here. It's up there. I'm surprised. Yeah, this one's showing much lower than some of the others are. It's only 124 right now. But I'm still going to turn them now, so I'm going to move this. Just to kind of promote some of the even cooking. And the good thing with the thigh is that I kind of like it a little bit past the 175 mark or 165 mark, depending on what you're trying to shoot for. But often with the thighs, you go to the 175 mark. So I'm good even going past that because it's such a fatty piece of meat. So we'll let this on here for about 10 minutes or so. Then I'll flip them back over and we'll, uh, I'll probably sauce the ones in the middle just to get some sauce on that side. Flip them back over and we'll finish everything off. All right, so they've been on a little bit longer here, or a little bit for this side, so I'm just going to brush some sauce on, on this side. They're getting up there right now, temperature-wise, so I'm going to get a little bit of sauce here. It's not as important for me. I like it on the skin the most. But those smaller ones will get done sooner, so... Skin's looking nice on this side here, so hopefully keep them nice and crispy. Sorry, I forgot my glove for this probe. In fact, I'm going to take this probe out because now I'm just going to be checking with a thermopop. Just let that skin get nice and crispy on this side and uh, 
We'll hit this side, this side with uh, sauce right away as well. Let that cook in. All right, we'll bring you back when these get almost done. They're getting close though. The small ones are probably done first, but then we'll check on the others as well. All right, let's just get some final readings on here before I go to pull them off. Boy, they're looking nice. Skin is not quite as crispy as I like on that, but that's all right. I actually got a little bit more to go. It's a uh, 160s. Um, that one's probably done already. These little ones are probably done, but again, they probably can take a little bit more. That's almost 180 on that, which is is fine. But I want to kind of try to hit bone. Yeah, this one here was the one I was getting. Um, Like 165, so we'll let them go a little bit longer. That skin's getting nice. Um, this skin's getting okay too. But boy, they're looking nice. All right, so I decided to pull a few of them off before the others are done. Just let them go a little bit longer. But since these smaller ones are done, I'm going to get them off. And then these are actually done as well. Well, that skin's crispy. And then I'm just gonna move these over a little bit, get them a little bit closer to the fire. Just for another five minutes, let them finish off. I'm also gonna dust um, each of these, once I have them off here, I'm gonna dust them one last time with some of the shake. The hot sauce one, I'm gonna leave go the way it is, and we'll see you when we're doing some tasting. Probably won't show you when I pull these off. As always, cheers. So here we are, end of the cook. SNS kettle did chicken thighs, at least chicken thighs from Bell and Evans. Um, had nine of them here. Did three on the right here with um, the hot sauce, the uh, Frank's thick red or red hot thick sauce. Three in the middle or all shucks. I said it's a local place that they put this on corn. Jack said it's good on uh, on chicken, so we're going to try it out. And then, like I said, I'm the last one in the party here with YouTube channels to not have Uncle Steve's shake. So this is Gator Shake. I don't know if I mentioned that in the beginning. So we put the, we dusted everything front and, or top and bottom uh, before hand on the ones with the shake. Uh, once this was cooking, we actually hit the red hot on the bottom, turned them over, got the top, um, pulled them off, and then you give a final dusting on both of these at the end because that's what I've been seeing that you want to do a final little coating at the end. So can't wait to dig into these things but uh, these things got they worked out great. The essence kettle was running about 410, 415. I didn't have the smoke hole open I just had the vents wide open so I had great heat on this. Skin is nice and crispy. Gonna cut it into one and see what it's like. Nice and tender. Now I always show an internal view here, but with chicken it's a little bit different. Boy, that skin looks nice. Mmm. You know what people are always talking about that gator shape? Boy, it has a good flavor. I can't explain it properly, but it's just a good flavor. I don't know if you heard that in the mic, but that chicken the skin was crispy as could be on the edge of that. So that, that's turned out great. Perfect cooked on this, on the SNS kettle, so. All right, so the production team complained that I didn't try the other one here. Now I'm not gonna try the Red Hot because I know what Red Hot is and we put it, I always make chicken thighs and put Red Hot on it. Never used a thick before, but still gonna be Red Hot. I've been using this a lot. So let's try the one with the all shucks. Again, skin is crispy. Nice and crispy, actually. Just love chicken thighs. Mm. That one's good again. That's, they said they put it on corn on the cob, that local, we have a local um, uh, Phillies AAA team local, and they have a stand there, and there are different fairs around the area here, but. That's a good one as well. I don't know how where you can find it. I know where you can find it in our area, but if it's nationally or not, I'm sure it's not. But uh, definitely a good sauce. 
or a good rub. So is Steve. So, uh, hope you like what you're seeing. Subscribe to the channel. Click the little bell, get notifications, and we'll see you next time.